Hi guys, and welcome to this. Uh, it's a bit of a distance from my usual uh, content on YouTube, but I just basically wanted to show you MechWare Online and head tracking. And basically, just I'm really curious as to why it isn't used more. I mean, I, I searched YouTube and managed to find, I think it was three videos with MechWare Online and head tracking. So in this, I just wanted to discuss that and, uh, and also uh, show off my new head tracker. I've been playing a lot of Elite Dangerous. And uh, what the guys over there use, in fact it was made by the fans of um, Elite Dangerous that didn't want to pay the crazy prices of um, of Track IR, and it's, it's also a different uh, type of technology that those guys use. Um, and so I've been using it on Elite Dangerous, and before I was playing that I used to spend most of my time playing MechWare Online, and um, I'm really surprised that you don't find this a lot more in in that game so just get myself in the, in here now, I'm in the training grounds because I didn't want to be bothered with trying to talk while uh, while fighting as well I'm not much of a multitasker so what you can see here is just got a mech in front of us for some reason I'm looking well above where my target rectangle is I mean that is a problem um, I will admit keeping your uh, your eyes face on to the um, to where the target reticle is, it can get a bit distracting looking at things as you're going past it. Um, so you might find yourself looking up at things, especially when there's pretty things like that tower over there, and this overhead, and that up there, and those pretty blue flames. Um, so I mean, it is another thing to manage, along with where your torso is, where your legs are, that sort of thing. But I think in time, people would really uh, anyway, would really benefit from this. One of the main reasons for that, I'm going to try and show you now. So anyone who plays MechWare Online will know that torso twisting is uh, a big part of the game. Basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to spread the damage across your torso. So normally what the people would do is they would do this and they can't see where the, where the enemy is when they're attacking them. So basically with head tracking you can look over at where your enemy is. So in theory, if I just point my legs in like that, you never have to take your eye off your enemy while your torso twisting. So you can do this sort of motion. Now as you can see, there's uh, that way, there's a big bulky arm in the way there of my cockpit. So I can only do this to a certain degree, so I can look further back that way. Um, but that is important. I really think it is, and that's very important. Just, just the ability to be able to do that. And you're not moving your head very much because what it does is it amplifies the movement. So you might only be looking about thirty degrees, whereas the actual in-game is looking about ninety. I mean this, and there's something weird and intuitive about it as well. I'm not really thinking about what I'm doing here. I'm just doing it. I've only had this thing about two days, and I can't I can't explain how my head knows to move like this. It's very very bizarre. So let's kick it up a gear, have a bit of a wander around. As you can see, I can look up at the side window, crash into things. <laughs> well, that was that was it really. I mean, I'm really surprised that you don't find more of this. Uh, this isn't more widespread with that with track IR and, uh, and other technologies. It just really surprises me, and that's why I made this video. Really, you have to excuse the bad graphics. I haven't got the most powerful computer in the world, but it, it is a third thing to take into consideration. You've got your leg direction, you've got your torso direction, which actually controls the uh, the targeting reticle. You can see there, and if I move, you see it stays where it is. Um, so in that respect, it could get complicated. I haven't tried this in a live match yet, because um, I, I haven't really been on it very much, to be honest. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm keen to know what people think. Would this be cheating? Because, I mean, I'm in a large mech, a heavy mech, uh, salt even, and um, normally to look to the side, you would have to go like that, which is actually fairly slow. The idea is that your torso turns quite slowly in this game on the heavier mix. 
Whereas with head tracking, it's just that both sides check them, move on. So you can you can check for enemies as you're going. So if I'm going over here, I'm a bit curious over there. Nothing there. If you're going this way, you can look around the corner. Do -do -do. Look over there without having to turn my head. I mean, you could also be shooting at someone over there and looking to make sure there's nothing going on elsewhere. And that was it. I think I've said everything I wanted to say. Um, as usual, thank you for watching. Um, and let me know what you think. Um, I'm really curious to see if people think this is cheating or um, if it's just too complicated or a gimmick. I'd be very curious to know that. Alright, well, thanks very much, guys. Cheers.